I know, I must be the last person on YouTube reviewing a Carrera T, but that's okay. And here's a spoiler alert. This is my favorite Porsche 911 at the moment, by a long margin. I just love these cars. Before we get started, I want to apologize that I'm looking a little bit like a sweaty rapist today. It is like 36 degrees outside, which is, I don't know what that is, an old fashioned temperature. It's like 100 degrees or something. So every time I step outside, I start uh, sweating. Anyway, enough of me and my sweatiness. Why is this car so good? Well, if you've watched my other Porsche 911 reviews, I've often said that I love the base engine. The base engine is a sweetheart because it is so similar to a naturally aspirated engine. There's no turbo lag. It's just a goddamn joy. I just love this engine. It is my favorite engine in the Porsche range, aside from the GT3 engines, of course. So before we continue with the T, we need to look at the awesomeness and shortcomings of the model it is based on, the standard Carrera, sitting here at the very bottom of the 911 pack. I have long sung the praises of the base model 911, particularly the 991.2 generation, because you see, I'm a strong believer that with 911s at least, less is more. Well, to be more accurate, less is more fun. And really the main reason to buy a sports car is to have fun, right? Well, <laughs> it should be. As I've said, the main reason to love the base model Carrera is the engine. That 370 horsepower, 3 litre turbocharged engine is a gem amongst Porsche turbocharged engines. Certainly more responsive and engaging than the 420 horsepower S engine in my C4S and far far better than the 450 horsepower engine in the GTS. Even the 3.8 litre turbos in the Turbo and the Turbo S lag behind the responsiveness of the 370 horsepower engine. I would go as far as to say it is the most fun to drive turbocharged engine in the 911 range. Of course there are other benefits to the base model, obviously the price, this is the most affordable method to slide your sticky body into a new 911, and they don't have a bunch of ugly modifications, tacked on body kits, bulges, holes etc, they are simply the purest form of a 911, the way nature intended. So if the base model is so damn awesome why doesn't everyone have one? Well, there are some issues. The biggest issue being image. No one really wants to own the cheapest or slowest Porsche 911 if they can afford a faster slash better one. I am as guilty of this as anyone else in my Carrera 4S. Whether they're willing to admit it or not, most base model Carrera owners choose that model simply because they are unable or unwilling to spend more to get a model further up the range. Proof of this is reinforced by base model owners almost always deleting the model decals from the back to hide the fact that they own the budget model. Other shortcomings are the lack of PTV, Porsche torque vectoring, which really does make a noticeable difference to cornering stability and grip. This feature should be standard on all 911s. Also the most basic brake package, which while still excellent, doesn't stand up to track beatings like the S brakes or the carbon ceramic brakes. And finally, interiors are almost always configured to the most budget and boring standard. So back to the Carrera T, what does this model bring to the party that is missing from the base Carrera? Well first of all it carries over that excellent engine and the low price but it also adds a standard PTV, the Porsche torque vectoring, lower gear ratios, a stylish interior but most importantly of all it brings special model branding and standard options. So no one will ever consider this a budget 911. The T will always be a sought after model. The only sort of shortcoming of the Carrera T is the brakes remain the standard Carrera brakes. Eh, unless of course you want to front up the $9,000 for the carbon ceramics. And some of the marketing horseshit standard options like the thin rear glass that robs you of the rear window defrost and the silly fabric handles which are just annoying are forced on you. But it seems people love these little touches in a special model, so who am I to judge? Besides, maybe 11 pounds weight saving is noticeable. I doubt it somehow. The only other downside of the T is that it only comes in Porsche's ugliest and most boring colours. However, as the 991.2 models wind down, Porsche have removed many of the colours and options from the other models as well. Speaking of colours, one of the optional Carrera T only package options is the Carrera T interior package. $3,480, which adds deviated stitching everywhere. You know how I love that. 911 logos to the seats, colored seat belts, and best of all, stripe patterned sport techs seats. 
Let me get in close here so I can show you the detail. I, you know, I've got sport techs and seats in my car. I rave about them. They breathe. They're so comfortable. They're just great seats. And this just adds another level of awesomeness to sport tech seats. I really have the hots for this package, as you can tell. It is a must have, if you ask me. Really makes the interior a special place to be. Another T option is the track ready full bucket seats, which will hug you like that overbearing grandparent, but they're not really comfortable or practical, and of course, $5,200. On the outside you get the black wheels and the Carrera T logo on the side and darkened model insignia and of course sports exhaust standard. All pretty cool. So yes, this the most awesome turbocharged engine in the Porsche range at the moment. Combined with the Carrera T lower ratio gears makes this car something special to drive. Every time I get into a Carrera T, I am just blown away by how much fun this car is to drive in comparison to every other 911. There's no dud 911 out there, they're all cool cars. But when you drive one every day like I do, you get to notice the little changes each model has and how much that affects the enjoyment of driving the car. And the changes to the Carrera T definitely make this a more fun car to drive. So there you have it. Stack ranking Porsche 911s as fun to drive. I would put the Carrera T right at the tippy top along with the GT3 as one, if not the most fun to own and drive Porsche 911. You guys should get one. Anyway, thanks as always for coming along for the drive and I'll see you in the next video. Bye then.